so you can track your trading performance and also follow how your students are trading with my FS Boom. Hello traders, welcome back to GojFX and this is your boy Gojo. So in this video, I'll show you how you can connect your MT4 and MT5 account to my FS Boom to track your trading performance. So after this, you can also track your trading activities, analyze your risk to reward on your trades, and you can even set goals and trade store all that with my FSB. So watch this full video to see all the steps that you need. If you are new to my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to be notified on the coming videos. Traders, let's get into the video. So, to link your account to my FS Boom, there are some simple steps that you need to do. The first thing you have to do, you come to upside on these tabs here, you click on portfolio, you see add accounts. You click on that and it will bring you to this nice page whereby you see you don't have any accounts currently and you have to click on the add button to add new accounts. So, I'll click on the add accounts here for me to add my account to my FS Boom. So after clicking that, you could see that they are telling you to add your platform. The platform that I use or the broker that I use, all the information will be filled when you click on this one. So I'll click on select here and since I'm using MT5, I'll click on MT5 Pro 2 update. If you are using a trading station or your broker, when you are registering with your broker, you choose a C trader or you choose an MT4 you can select that but i'll click on meta trader 5 because i use mt5 so mt5 auto updates you can click on that and after clicking on that they will ask you to provide your account information and this account information are the information that the broker gave to you when you were signing up with them either a real account or a demo account so you need your account name your broker's name the broker server your account number and also your investor password you don't need to provide your main password or your real password and use if you're using a real account but rather you should provide your investor password so let me show you how you can get this information if you have already signed up to a real account with any broker most brokers mostly send this information through email and sometimes after registering or creating new trading accounts the broker gives this information so it's always important to save this information so let me go to my mt5 and show you how you can create or get this information so let me use meta trader code demo and i'll add or open an account i'm going to use the meta code software you can use any broker based on the broker but i recommend you to use xm if you want to trip so i'll click on next and also i'll open a demo account here and the information is already here so i'll click agree and i'll click on next so you can see that after registering with the broker, I have my name here, the server here, and also I have the logins here. All the brokers will give you this information and you can see that the investor password is for read only. So you can keep this out, your investor password and even your logins if you want someone to view your trading performance. So what I'll do is I'll copy this one. I will need it, so I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. I've already created a word i'll paste it and i'll save it here also i need my password which is my real password i'll need it in the future so i'll also paste that one here and my investor password too i'll click on that and also copy it and paste that one also so these are the information that you need so there are other information that you need is your name and server you don't have to forget this thing so you need to also check this information because when you are trying to log in or try to attach your brokerage information to your MT5, you really need your server name. So the server name is important. Better quotes really need that. So now that I have all this information, what I'll do is I'll come back to my FS group and I'll type all the information. Here. So the first thing that I'll need is my account name. So you could see that my account name was called GFX. 
And if you want to see the account name, I can show you. If you come to MT5, you can see that the name is here. Go here, and space is the account that I just created. So you can go to the next one, which is the select the broker. I use MetaTrader 5, their platform. So I click on MetaTrader, and you can see MetaTrader or MetaCool software concentration. So you see that my server has been giving my MetaTrader demo. If it's alive, click on live, and my account number is also needed. So for my account number, I copied it here. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. And also my investor password. You don't need your real password. We're going to use the investor password. So I'll copy this one too. Or I'll also paste it there. So now that I have all the information, I'll click on create accounts. So I'll click on that and wait for my account to be connected. So you could see that finally my account has been connected and your account was successfully proceed. So what I'm going to do next is to set my privacy settings. So they are saying my accounts are private by default, so I have to make it public. And the idea is you have to make your account public so that if you give a link from this account to anyone, the person can view all your stats to see what you are doing. So I'll click on set privacy settings and what I'll do is, the first thing I'll do is I'll come to verification and I'll verify my account. So I'll click on this and I'll copy this information here and I'll go back to my MT5 and I'll change my investor password with this new investor password which has been given to me by my FSB. So I'll click on here and I'll click on change password. I want to change my investor password which is the read only password not the main password. So I'll paste it here and I'll also repaste it here. So currently they are asking for my current password and I'll come here and copy it. So I'll also paste that one here. So it is very important for you to save your current password or your master password and your investor password somewhere so that in case any time that I want to use it, you can just use it or just copy it and paste it somewhere. So I can click on OK and now my FS book investor password has been linked to my broker's investor password. So my FS book investor password is now my brokerage investor password. So with this, my FS book will get access to all the trees that they on my MT5 platform. So I'll come to my FS book and what I'll do is I need to update this password. I'll copy this one here. Since now this password is my investor password, I'll click on that. I'll click on update password and I'll place that one here. So because I have changed this password to be my investor password for my broker, that's why I pasted it here because you need to update your password. It is so that it will be very easy for my FSB to get access to your trading broker's account. So after that, I'll click on OK and now I wait patiently for them to link my account. So for linking it, you need to click on connect so that your account will be connected. So now that my account is connected, so now everything that I'll do on my brokerage account or my MT5, I'll see it on my Facebook. One other thing that I also want you to do is to come to permissions for your account to be public. If you keep your account to be private, it was very hard for other people to get access to see how you are trading. So what I'll do is I'll change this account from private to public so that people will be able to see my accounts. I don't want to show my account number as I can show my balance. If you're using a real account, it's not important or advisable to show your account number, but you can show your balance. You can show your trade history. If I want my students to also see my goals, I can click on that. Also, I want them to see my loss size so that they can set their risk to work very well. And for open trees and open order, I'm not going to do that because I don't want anyone to see the trees I'm taking. But if you want other traders to copy your trees, you can also set that to public so that other traders can copy your tree. So after setting all these things, I'll click on save. So now that I've saved, what I'll do is if I come to portfolio, I can see that my account has been added here. So this is the Gordia FX account. If I click on that, you could see that you could see that my trading privileges has been verified and also 
my prep goal code has been verified. So now if I come below here, I'll be able to see my charts, my good, my balance, my pockets, and also my agenda. Since this is a demo account which I added and I've not placed any trade, we could see that there is no chart on Santos this year. So if you go below here, you'll be able to set your goals, see your period, and also see how you are doing YouTube trading. So you can click on goals and you can have a daily goal, weekly goal, monthly goal, and even set a yearly goal, which can also help you to track your trades. So this is a simple way that you can use to track your trading performance. And you can also share the link below with your friends you can copy it and share with them so that they will be able to follow your stats. If the person is a new trader and you also want to see his stats, you can also let him copy this link and send it to you. And you can use that to advise the person and also make him do any changes when it comes to his trading. So traders, in my coming videos, I'll show you how you can also make money with my archives book and also how you can let people copy your trades directly from my Facebook. So traders, that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.